Hey, it's James Nicholson and welcome to the second episode of Wednesday Winners. I've got my good friend Seb Brantigan on here. Uh, good morning, Seb. How are you? Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me on here. I really appreciate it. Cool. So uh, Wednesday Winners is a new show and what we're going to be doing on here is bringing on entrepreneurs, business owners, startups, marketers that have worked with me or my team over the last few months and more specifically that they've got results and we're going to show you the process that they've gone through so if you're looking for ideas to grow your business to start a business then you can look at the roadmap that they took and model that and hopefully get similar success that they would have so Seb welcome um, thank you for giving up your time uh, today really appreciate it and uh, let's start at the beginning because um, I know exactly what you do, um, but do you want to quickly tell us what you do now um, and, and, and how that is, and then we'll, we'll go back and see how that started in a second. So what, what do you do now? Yeah, of course. So right now I'm a digital marketing consultant, so I help businesses uh, who are either, who either don't have an online presence yet, I help them to get themselves online, or if they have an online presence, I help businesses to use that presence to generate more leads, more sales, and more exposure to their brand. I think there's so many businesses out there that even if you were just to make a few small tweaks, they would really improve their results. And so that's that's what I do, basically. Cool. And smashing it at the moment, which is awesome to see. And you weren't doing that before, right? So before you were a digital marketing expert, um, what were you doing? So before that, I was actually working for local government and uh, before I went into marketing, I was actually there for about five or six years and it's, it's kind of interesting. So I started off working admin, I then went into a, um, a information compliance, a data protection kind of role and then I was made redundant. So I had to make some choices. I was, you know, I had to choose either to get another job where I'd be made redundant again, potentially, or you know, choose a different path and do something more rewarding that I actually wanted to do. Okay, cool. So I bet when you're working at the, the council, it's probably frustrating, right? Hands tied, couldn't really yeah. have much impact. Yeah. It was all, this is the way to do it, and that's the only way to do it. Um, Pretty much it was. It, it felt a bit like there are thousands of people there and only a handful of people actually keeping it running. And, um, you know, I was putting in lots of extra hours, not really seeing a reward. Um, obviously, being in the public sector, you don't get things like financial bonuses. So, you know, some of the benefits that you did have were slowly being stripped off. So, yeah. you know, it seemed like the longer you worked, the less you actually got compensated for it. And, you know, even before I was made redundant, I was not happy. I was definitely not doing something that I wanted to do. I was not hanging around with the the kind of people I wanted to hang around with and so you know I just had to choose a different path because I knew the path that I was on just wasn't going to get me to where I wanted to be like never ever so I, I, something had to give and actually being made redundant was kind of a, a good thing that gave me the push into the right direction I really really needed actually. Cool so uh, you needed to reskill at that time um, didn't want to go back into the workplace and so how did you come across us how did this journey start for you well interestingly uh, around that sort of time I was browsing through Facebook and I saw one of your adverts I saw your book advertised as well so I do actually have a, a copy here <laughs> cool. so um, the very good read actually really good book and uh, it's actually one of those books that I do go back and reference um, a few times there's not many books like that that I do that with so yeah. uh, the content there was very good and even for me at that point I was very new to marketing um, I understood everything in there everything made a lot of sense and have, having read that book it made me want to obviously learn more from you obviously meet you attend some of your trainings and then that's when I uh, was invited to the Inset Marketing Bootcamp and went along to learn more about the specifics and how I could actually do this for myself and how to go to that next step and that, that next journey. Cool. So, yeah, I mean, the book, I've deliberately made it so there's a lot of information in there that you can use practically because mm -hmm. it's important that you have a blueprint, right? Setting up a business isn't easy. 
lots of people make it sound a lot easier than it actually is. And you need to have a step-by-step -step process to get leads and sales more importantly, um, and also just to run the business efficiently. Because if you don't have that blueprint, it's very difficult. And I think the information that I put in there is 10 years of mistakes to find what works um, from my side. Um, <laughs> so, and, and I think one of the key things here is that you took action, you got the book, um, and you read it. Because uh, not everyone reads books that they get, and reading it and learning that information is the key. So the next part was that you came to one of our internet marketing boot camps, um, and that would probably be again off really, either off an email or one of the team will have called you or, 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 or a Facebook ad again. And so you came along to, to one of those workshops and for you, you're not in central London, are you? But we were running them at the time just in London. So mm -hmm. it was probably a bit of an effort for you to actually make that decision to turn up uh, mm -hmm. and come to that event. So um, why did you decide to go? Why did you decide to go to that event? Yeah, of course. I mean, the, the main reason why I decided to go was, um, uh, you know, having gone for everything that you that you had online, obviously I had a look at your your page. I saw some testimonials. I saw some great success stories. And I got very excited, I'll be honest with you, because yeah. I saw people who were very new to this world and they're able to get some great results. And so I thought, well, if they can do it, then I can, I'm sure I can do it as well. So yeah, exactly as you said. I, you know, I'm, I made the effort. I booked my train. I got to the event. I knew. I just had that feeling. It's kind of hard to explain. You know, when you just feel like you have to be somewhere, yeah. and you you just make that decision. You just do it. It's, it's kind of like one of those decisions for me. And when I got there, I was so glad I did. You know, obviously I met you and I met the rest of the team. I met some great people at the event as well as attendees. Made some great connections. So it's really really good to come along. And, you know, I just wanted more of it. And so that's when I, I decided to join up and attend your three-day course and, and go more intensive. And that was really great as well. So um, that's, that's the whole reason why I went is I, I, I just knew you were the guy who had the experience uh, that I could learn from. And uh, that's, that's really what put me in. Cool. I think what surprises a lot of people at the Internet Marketing Bootcamp is that it's not one of these huge events. So we deliberately made these so we run them, uh, they're small events, and we run them more frequently in different areas of the UK because we want them to be intimate so we can get to know you. So we used to run the Internet Marketing Bootcamp with 200 people, but what became very clear very quickly was that you can't speak to 200 people at an event. And there's other people in similar niches to us that will run 200 or 1,000 people in a room and you never get to speak to the speaker. You never get to speak to one of the coaches. And so from our side, we try and limit it to 20 people, 25 people. So there are enough coaches that you can get some quality one-on-one -on -one time. You can get all your questions answered. And you can walk out of there ultimately with a blueprint and a strategy that can start your business if you need to get to that stage or if you've got an existing business, can take it to the next level. And that's really, really uh, important for us. So um, for transparency, when Seb came on the Internet Marketing Bootcamp, he decided to get further education with us, and he enrolled um, in our Business Accelerator program. And, and so you came on the three days. How was that for you? Because that's obviously a lot more intense than the, the uh, Internet Marketing Bootcamp. How do you find the Business Accelerator? I thought it was really good. You know, I've been on similar trainings before and in past trainings, it was very much, you know, people talking at you. But at your your event, it was very different because you're actually as you were teaching, we we're asked to do things and implement while we were actually at the three days. So what that meant was when it came to obviously leaving the three days, we already had an action plan together and we, we were already implementing and we we're being taught how to implement it's one thing to implement it's another to implement the right way yeah so it was the perfect balance between you know getting the right information but also putting that into practice and so you know as i said when i left the three days i was already taking action and i had a plan that i could stick with and it's very easy when you leave an event for the excitement to drop but obviously because of what you taught and the way you taught it and the action steps that you gave after the event that I was to follow, you know, everything just made sense and everything just clicked. And I just kept the momentum going basically. And obviously, you know, we, 
we then work together a bit closer on your, um, your business accelerator, which has really, really made a massive impact on my business. And uh, but no, attending the three days really was uh, the next stepping stone that uh, just changed everything for me. Cool. So I think one thing that Seb does very well is he's a very good networker as well. So while you're there, you made connections that, from what I've seen, that you've been doing business with ever since, um, which I guess was important for you to give you that final kickstart because the quality of the people in the room is very high, isn't it? It's not absolutely uh, like just a load of tire kickers and stuff like that. <laughs> the people that are all taking action together, and I've seen. I, I, I see you out and about with people from the actual same event that you came for, which is really nice to see. Yeah, so of course, of course. You launched your business after the Business Accelerator. Um, how's that gone since? Obviously, um, you had a salary that you needed to replace. Have you now replaced that fully and more? Yes, at, at the moment, it's it's all gone really well. So as you said, I made some great connections from uh, the event. So I've done some joint ventures with people. I've, I've signed up some new clients, grow my own business, which has been really, really good. Um, but also I've had the confidence to, first of all, apply what's been taught and get results, which has happened for other clients. Yeah. And second of all, being able to charge my work so that I'm able to, you know, attract the right clients and obviously um, get paid and, and really set my own salary. It's very different to work in local government where they, they, they give you, you know, here's your salary, here's your benefits. And there's, there's, you know, there's a ceiling that you can't break out from. But if you're self-employed and you're a business owner, you're an entrepreneur, yeah. then you can really boost past that, which is, which is what's happened to me. So some of the achievements I've been really, really uh, proud of is helping a, a, a seven figure business. Well, they're originally six figures. I managed to get them to the next stage, which, the, which is one of their goals to help them to achieve that. But yeah. also I was helping that, that same company with their book launch. They yeah. recently launched a book, which got top 10 on Amazon. Yeah. Sure. Amazing. They, well done. Thank you. And also they launched a podcast. So we use the same, these are all strategies that we've learned from, um, from yourself and obviously from the events. And it's the same with a, they did a pod course, podcast launch as well. Yeah. And we managed to get that, I think, number six, that was ahead of Tony Robbins, um, Tony Robbins' podcast, wow. which gets millions of listeners. So that was um, a really cool achievement. So that got to a number six on iTunes uh, I think that was worldwide, so that was that was really cool. But so that got good recognition for being known as the guy that can help people get results, and also their yeah. business exploded from that, right? I'm sure exactly. Tony Robbins in the iTunes podcast chart is going to really impact their business, um, and obviously getting a book in the top ten on Amazon, I'm sure for them has generated hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of additional sales. So that's great that you did that, um, and. How's your life different now? Because obviously when you're working in somebody's business or the government, you're dictated the hours that you have to be there and stuff like that. I can see you're working from home now, which I know for you is very important to have that freedom. And you can just take a day off if you want or the afternoon off and, and, and stuff like that now. So how's that impacted you personally? Yeah, massively. I mean, recently I uh, went away for about a week and I was able to... You know, I didn't have to ask for any time off. I was able to just go away, leave the laptop at home and really enjoy myself, enjoy my, my time off. I just remember when I was in local government, you know, I used to get like three or four weeks per year holiday. But even when I was taking my holiday, I would be asked to do work or I'd have to, you know, do stuff while I was away. So I could never really enjoy my time off. And I was only allowed time off at you know, it was up to their discretion. I, I didn't get any choice or control. It's very different now. It's very different. Exactly as you said, I can choose when I want to take time off and I can yeah. set my own schedule. I've just got so much more flexibility yeah. and, you know, not having to commute back and forth every day has been, um, it's just, it's just so much better. I think for me overall, I just really, really enjoy what I do as well. So it, when I do work, it, it doesn't really feel like work. Like I don't feel as tired as compared to my old job where I would, I would just feel, you know, tired and exhausted all the time. I would just, I, I just remember in the past I would get home and literally like be ready to just go straight to bed and I'd have to do it all again the next day. It just was not a, not a great cycle, but yeah. now it's very different. Now I, like, I wake up looking forward to doing what I do. Uh, I wake up grateful for it as well. You know, really, really grateful. Awesome. And 
So, so yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how things are going. It can can only get better and better. So, um, for I have to say, for anyone watching this, if you're considering attending the Internet Marketing Bootcamp, or you know, I, w- I would just get to the bootcamp, read the book as well. It's uh, called Expert Mastery. Really, really great stuff in here. So, I, I just have to say, you know, you've you've helped me tremendously. Really helped me to get some great results. And you know, if I was I hadn't had your help and hadn't been to these events I don't know where I'd be right now I think I'd probably still really be struggling with stuff so it's totally. been great the key thing here is that Seb took action right so if you're someone that's an employee that you're in a job that you don't like it can change very very quickly Seb turned his uh, redundancy into a positive in like weeks and months it wasn't like a long 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 period of time that he needed to resolve that he found uh, an avenue that could get him reskilled, um, because even if he did go back into employment, which I know he's definitely never going to want to do, but even if he had to, um, marketing is a skill that every business needs. Everyone needs to get leads and sales, and so his new skill set is a lot more desirable um, than his previous skill set, where he was doing more administrative tasks and stuff like that. So you can change very, very quickly. Um, And I think the key is that Seb is uh, an implementer. He learned stuff from us on the free days and and he built an agency very quickly to great results. He's got really, really good results very, very fast. And the strategies that he's used to do that is to follow the five steps in the book, which are to get content out, uh, to be positioned as the expert, to capture leads, then to turn them into a customer, offer your core offer and and continue to sell to them. And Seb's done that very well. And in fact, I've tried to pass Seb some work recently and he doesn't have the availability so much. Um, So he, he, from time to time, will have opportunities for you guys. um, If you want to work with Seb, totally, um, I would recommend it. Um, And what I'll do for you, Seb, is I'll put your link to your website, The Britpreneur, around this video, above or below it. So if anyone wants to reach out and chat to Seb um, and see how he could possibly help you in your business, then definitely do that. I'd definitely advise um, working with Seb. He's an awesome guy and he will get you great results as well. So um, I think that's it, Seb. Um, I I appreciate your time. um, Great. And uh, thank you so much for taking action. Thank you so much for being a model student. and, And thank you for like, finally living the life that you want to live man that's the most important yeah. thing. um so yeah. um of course so yeah anyone that wants to get a ticket to the internet marketing bootcamp i'll put a ticket to my book to the internet marketing bootcamp and to seb site as well uh, below this video so that's it from us uh see you guys soon bye for now thanks everyone bye Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you found that really useful. Make sure you like the video and comment below. Now, the next steps are really important. The first thing I want you to do is get yourself a free copy of my book, Expert Mastery. And that can be done by clicking on the video up here. Get yourself uh, a complimentary copy of that book. It'll be with you in a few days. All I ask is that you cover the shipping and the handling. And if you're looking to get the fast track, you're really looking to take your business to the next level, you want to get more leads and more sales, then you need to book yourself in on one of our live workshops, the Internet Marketing Bootcamp. If you look over here, click on the video uh, over there, you'll be able to see what it's all about and get yourself booked in. Remember, these are small, intimate workshops. They're not one of these big workshops with hundreds of people in there where you never get to speak to the speaker or any of the staff there. You'll be able to get involved. Uh, We will be able to give you some one-on-one time during the Internet Marketing Bootcamp and map out effectively how you can take your business to the next level or look to get your business finally started and finally get the internet working for you. So click on both of those videos, get the book at the top, get your free ticket to the Internet Marketing Bootcamp below. I can't wait to meet you. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye for now.